By the end of this video, you will be able to fade out a song using FL Studio. Let's get started. So you're going to have FL Studio open. So there might be times that you want to fade out your song that you're working on. And this would, you know, start the volume at one setting and then it would decrease the volume by the end of the song. So I'll show you how to do this. And then as a bonus tip, I'll show you how to fade out individual audio clips by the end of this video. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to go up to the selector icon here and you want to click that. And then you're going to want to left click in this area here with the numbers where you've got your measure numbers and you're you're going to want to start it where you want the fade to start and then left click and drag it to the end of the song. So I'll try my best to line it up with the end. It should snap to grid. And then now that I've got my selection, so that's the area that I would like to fade out. What I'm going to do is come down to the mixer. And if you don't see your mixer, you can go to this icon right here and you can just left click that and it will bring up your mixer and you've got your selection and you've got your mixer and now you've got your master track here. And so that's going to control the volume for the entire song. What I'm going to do is come to the volume knob here and right on the volume knob, I'm going to right click. You have to make sure you're right on that volume knob, right click, and then you're going to click on create automation clip. And so what this is going to do is create an automation clip where you can then decrease the volume as the song is progressing. So you can see the automation clip was created. And so I've got a volume controller here. So I'm going to go and click into my arrangement window. And now what you need to do is go ahead and click on the paint icon so that you can manipulate this line here. And so you'll see when I clicked on paint, now I've got three dots that show up. You'll notice if you stay in selector icon here, those three dots do not show up when you hover over top of the volume automation clip. So again, click left click on paint and then you've got those three dots. And so what I want to do is take the volume from a high end here and I'm going to lower this end. So lower the right hand side. And so now what will happen is this will gradually fade out the entire song. Again, it's controlling the master volume for the entire song. So if you want to listen to this, then you just click on the space bar or you can click on the play icon here. So you can see that was able to fade out the song as the song was ending. One thing to keep in mind is if your automation clip is a little beyond what you have here, this track will, uh, you know, when you export the track, it will include that time. So if I left click this and move it, it will include this time here where there's no music. So you want to make sure that you keep that in mind. So you want to left click and then you can snap it to grid is sometime a better, sometimes a better way to do this too. So that looks like that's basically there. Um, and then you can change any parts of this that you'd like. So the middle part of the automation clip, you can change the you know rate that you're decreasing the sound. So that's going to decrease the sound uh, you know much faster at the beginning and then less at the end. Or you can do it the other way where you decrease the sound a little bit at the beginning and then a lot at the end. So it depends on what kind of you know uh, fade out you're looking for. So you can bring that back to there and that's that's a nice even fade out that you've got there. If you're looking at this as a fade in, it's just the opposite. So you would just take that automation clip, move it at the beginning of your track, and then you drag the first part down and then you would drag this part up. And again, you would just, you know, left click and then move this to the beginning of your track and this would create a fade in effect. So this is just one tutorial, but think about how much better your tracks could be with the right tools. I've created the FL Studio Pro Producer Pack, a free resource filled with the best sample sources, plugins, and templates to help you level up your music production game. And the best part is I'm regularly updating it with even more tools like FL Studio presets, automation guides, and more. So click the link in the description to grab it for free. If you'd like to delete your automation clip, all you need to do is just click on paint and then go ahead and right click on the uh, automation clip and that will delete it. One other thing I wanted to mention is if you, you can do the selector icon at the top here to select which part you'd like to fade out. If you're working in paint and don't want to click between the buttons a lot, you can just click on control on your keyboard and then left click. Um, so if you have the paint icon selected, you use control and then left click and drag and that will also help you uh, select the area that you would like to you know fade out or fade in. And then as a bonus tip, I want to show you how you can fade out an individual audio clip. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in an audio clip to this piece and I'll click on this area here and let's go with the MP3 example. I'm going to open that. And so once that's brought into there, I've got it in my audio clips and now I can left click and drag that in there. Again, if you don't know where your audio clips are, you can toggle between your patterns 
and your audio clips right there. So I've got my audio clip. And the nice thing about uh, FL Studio now is that right with an audio clip, you can just go ahead and change the fade in and fade out um, on the clip. So this you can have, let's see, yeah, so same thing. You're gonna to wanna to have paint selected so that those little three dots show up. So the three dots are in different areas. This uh, It's like a little triangle this time. So you're gonna left click on that little triangle and then drag it, and then that's gonna create a fade in. So you can see now it's fading in. And then if I want to do a fade out, let's go ahead and remove that fade in. So let's say I want to do a fade out. I would take the right hand triangle there and then I would drag it to this area here. And then same thing. So now when I play this, it will have a fade out. So it's getting softer as the audio clip is going, but the rest of the track is not affected. So basically this will do the audio clip only. Um, but not the rest of the track. So this uh, first track will uh, you know, be the same as it was before, and this second track will have the fade out effect. So you now know how to fade out your song using FL Studio. If you made it this far into the video, you most likely are also interested in how to get the most out of the automation clips within FL Studio. I have another video that shows you how to do this, and I'll put a link to that video here.